Hi guys, this is Frenchy and today I want to show you how I went from this to this thanks to one tool. But first, I want to show you what happened. I arrived at my office to start working on the project. I received a call from the producer that said The client wants everything grey around the talent. I say, yes, I can do it. I made a coffee. I tried RGB mixer, not working. Qualifier, not clean enough. Power window, not working. I stepped up, fed patat to give me inspiration, I came back to the office, had nothing. I was thinking about going to raise goats on the hills and name one Carla and one Wish. That would be magic place. Wait, patat looked at me, I looked at her, she understood that I understood, I understood she understood. Magic mask. How could I not think about it earlier? Anyway, this tool saved my ass. Okay guys, I found it. Um, this tool really saved my bum. And uh, I'm pretty glad that uh, I've done this project with this clean result because actually that was um, a pretty big challenge for me at that time. Uh, so I'm just gonna uh, explain to you uh, what happened. This tutorial is actually a breakdown of the look that I've done for the commercial Aquafina. And so um, this commercial was challenging because the client uh, had really specific requests and uh, this specific request was um, actually um, having a very grey black and white background but uh, having your uh, subject natural and at the same time uh, very bright. So I'm going to show you my note tree uh, to make this look and uh, my process uh, to achieve this result. Also, I want to uh, compare with you like um, how the result that would be uh, with, for example, just a qualifier uh, selection and um, how's the, the result uh, with, for example, Magic Mask. So we're going to do everything. Uh, first, I want to show you the, the look and uh, uh, the effect of uh, Magic Mask in the image. You can go to your project setting and uh, right now, uh, I'm in the timeline color space Rex 709 and the output color space um, Gamma 2.4. We're gonna disable all the nodes and we're gonna start by CST because I started by that. So CST, if you see, this is just um, the RE white gamut to uh, the Rex 709. Uh, very simple, you know, like normal thing. Um, after uh, we created a lot on set. So I was on set and I was creating a lot for the DP to uh, light the scene um, the way he wanted. Um, so I applied this lot that we had, uh, but when I applied it, I found that it would go too far off the requirement of the client because this is very uh, saturated and um, very um, blue in the shadows and also like uh, very uh, poppy in terms of skin tone. So what I have done is uh, creating a layer mixer and uh, I um, changed the composite mode to luminosity to only keep uh, the, how you call that? <laughs> to only keep the contrast. I enable the lot and uh, I put this gain to zero. So that means that uh, I only have the um, uh, contrast going on in this lot. Because I found that from the gamma curve plus the lot, we were still like, very warm and uh, we didn't find really uh, yet this um, black and white style coming out of the image. What I have done is actually putting a node after uh, the lot that is a dehancer node and that is um, using the uh, Konica uh, Minolta VX400 uh, Super. And so this node uh, allow me to put a bit more the grade into the ballpark that I want. And uh, I find that having this, even if it's a bit dark, um, is a pretty good um, point of start of our grade. So I went to um, balance my image and of course this commercial is very high key. So um, what I have done is raising up everything with uh, my lift and with my gain and uh, I called 
the image and uh, put a bit of magenta because also the client requested the skin tone to be a bit magenta -ish. for the hdr this is a note that i usually use uh, to um, uh, control all the lights going on so um, by using the hdr node i could like uh, tone down the light and make the roll off a bit more subtle on the face to make this it's very easy you just go to hdr and i took my light that is taking mostly my face and also the bottle and i put it down to minus 0.09 because also the client really wanted a skin that is magenta i put the skin first uh, in the ballpark what i have done is actually only uh, using my color wrapper and i put the orange spectrum towards the red so this is for the skin and because also it's a commercial that is uh, quite um, fashion beauty even though if it's for a bottle of water um what i have done is actually did a bit of cleanup on her um, face and her skin so uh, first i've done her neck so it's just a power window on her neck and uh, i put down the mid-tone details right uh just a bit on her cheek and i brighten up the chin you know because like you have a very big uh, shadow created by the bottle and then like this makes it a bit more pleasing because also it's a commercial about the bottle um i just saturated a bit more the bottle uh, with a power window i uh, saturated a bit more and uh, i think i raised a bit more the bottle and so right now like we're gonna see uh, what's the effect of the magic mask so i'm gonna uh, enable the notes for you to see what's the effects on the magic mask and so uh, what we've done with the magic mask is actually um, making the background brighter and black and white and so for the skin we made it way brighter and whiter so you're gonna go to this tiny icon of the tiny stick man here. Um, so when I'm in my magic mask, right, um, I can uh, see my strokes over here and uh, I can see all the settings that I have. So um, to see where is my selection, I can just click on the toggle mask over here and uh, you're gonna see like what I selected and everything that is red is uh, what I selected uh, in my character so I'm just gonna put my cursor in uh, the selection and you can see my strokes I selected my subject and I inverted the selection in magic mask so I don't have to make like so many strokes around her right I'm gonna show you this is the button that uh, inverts the mask so originally I just uh, did my mask like that also magic mask even if I didn't use it for uh, this particular case can do a uh, percent so for example uh, in this button you can go uh, to uh, the person tool and just like uh, say to DaVinci okay I want a person and just put your stroke it's gonna recognize uh, your person right so uh, here it recognize just with one stroke that like I want her uh, and if you want only like for example features uh, you can just like, go to uh, the feature button and like uh, if I just want the face I just say like okay the face is here and it's gonna only take the face for me so it's pretty handy uh, and like can be uh, used in uh, multiple cases uh, for this case I just found that like actually the object was pretty fine and uh, I didn't have any problem to track my magic mask for me it's what like made my grade um, stands out and also like achieve a sort of clean <laughs> yeah, cleanness that like um, maybe I wouldn't have with a qualifier um, so for the background what we've done is actually uh, going to a saturation that is um, around 10 so I haven't done like a real black and white background but um, I just um, you know wanted like to have a tiny bit of color uh, out of it just like because I wanted to um, 
manipulate a bit the uh, temperature and a bit of the tint and uh, also for the skin so i told you that like i had a magic mask for the background and i had a magic mask for the skin and so uh, for the skin easy i just uh, right click add a node and add an outside and so having an outside node uh, with your magic mask will affect everything that is not in the mask for example like because i selected the background in the first node then like i only have the skin selected in um, this node so uh, for the skin very easy uh, i cooled the skin and i put a bit of tint and um, also i raised uh, the shadows of the skin uh, that was before for the skin that was actually uh, pretty dense in terms of colors and uh, this is after so uh, this is the final look for aquafina so i just want to compare this look that i have with um, another another method uh, for example let's just like uh, play with the method of a qualifier what i'm going to do is going to the um, rgb mixer and going to monochrome so i have a real black and white after this, I'm just going to go to my qualifier and I'm going to uh, select what I have here, right? So um, I'm just going to select her. And I'm going to try to get as much as possible. But the problem is, uh, I, I think I can't get, yeah, I can't get the bottle without taking the wall you see what i mean so let's say like okay I, I, let's forget about the bottle and just like let's try uh, to um let's try to just like get this black and white uh wall so um what i'm gonna do is because i selected her i'm just gonna invert my mask and it's gonna select all around the issue is because we couldn't um uh, take the bottle in now my bottle is also black and white grayish you know uh, that's that's a real issue because um, we need the bottle to be uh, the color of the brand and to pop out so let's just move and uh, having a brighter uh, skin so i'm just gonna uh, right click and add an outside node and uh, I'm going to raise the, the node and uh, this is what we're going to have. So this is actually the method with qualifier. Of course, like I haven't done any window to take back the Aquafina label or something like that. But um, I feel like um, it's going to be not easy. And at the same time, uh, it's going to be like... Um, not that clean i would say so when i compare these two images there's like one problem that uh, really um, catch my eyes is first of course the label of aquafina that lost its color but at the same time is the noise going on around her this uh, even though i uh, denoised i'm going to show you even though um, here i denoise the image i can go like way further uh, to denoise the stuff i think that's uh, pretty good and i put more blur radius the 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 noise doesn't really disappear right um so i find that it's a real problem for me uh for this kind of uh, grade just like because I need to keep the image very clean because like this um, commercial ask for this kind of look. Uh, so for the qualifier technique, it's not the best technique. So that's all for me. Uh, this video was to show you like how Magic Max was powerful. And I also want to say to you that like you should use Magic Mask only when you are stuck on the corner and you can't do anything else than magic mask um i explained myself why it's just like because it takes a lot of your gpu to run uh, because all the time you have to track so this tool should stay last resort even though it's a very powerful tool just like because 
um, as a colorist you don't have a lot of time to spend on frames and uh, you have to make a choice uh, in your image to um, finish the day so i hope uh, this video helped you and maybe um, unlocked something in your brain uh, in case you have this kind of requirement that are quite tricky to do with uh, the classic tools of DaVinci Resolve. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe uh, if you didn't do it on the video and uh, to follow me on Instagram at Frenchie uh, underscore city. I see you guys next time. Uh, stay safe and have fun.